everybody this is a review on the Lego Ninjago Spitta Spinner I don't have the container so I can't tell you most of the thing the information about the set but who cares about that stuff right nobody cares now let's get closer this is Spitta Take him off, spinner. Here is the front. He looks like he has sacks of blood. That's kind of weird. The Venomari guys spit green stuff at you. And they make you go all, and it makes your eyes go all cuckoo. Anyways, there's some back printing. Pretty cool. He's got four eyes. Awesome. Some two big fangs compared to his body his head actually came in a separate bag nothing else was in that bag except his head and the bottom printing and the top printing he has dark green arms and the dark green head with some black hands and now let's check out his spinner. Let me see if I can get the crown off to show you the bottom. Ugh. There we go. Here's the bottom. Here it is without its crown. See this with snake venom or whatever that is. Little scratches. It's very cool. It's kind of a glowing thing in the camera. It's kind of a clear green color. On the back, it's not a plain spinner. It's not like the other spinners. This is actually dark gunmetal gray. So pretty cool. There are the holes that put the little things that whip everybody. And it does spin pretty nicely. Now here is the crown. See, you got some snakes on the sides. Some cool green printing as well as some black printing. And there are studs on each side. And you can go ahead and place that on your spinner. And then you could place Spitta on there and spin them. You could spin them any way you want. You could just, you could spin them any way you want. I could show you some of the ways I do it, but, uh, I'm holding the camera so it's kind of hard. Now let's put that back. We checked out the spinner and the snake. Now let's check out the weapons. If you ask me, you get some pretty cool weapons. And here's a golden weapon. Here's his golden weapon. He has this green little sack right here. As well as a horn on the other side. Pretty cool, basic four pieces. Here's a viper that technically counts as a weapon because he could hold it in his hand. And he's a nice clear color. I like that. He's also kind of purple. This is actually the first time I've ever gotten one of these kind of clear purple snakes, so I'm happy. And last but not least, you get this plain old giant sword. Okay, now we've got past the weapons and the minifigure. Now let's check out the cards we get. Of course you get the player card. Sometimes what I do is we put all the player cards in a stack. Then we pick a card and whoever's on the card you have to be. And it's a lightning guy. His fire is 300, lightning 300, earth 100, and ice 300. And next card. At the top it says, use surroundings. Dis keep face up. Discard if crown is, is removed. Throw this card before every spin. Opponent loses spinner if it touches it. I don't even know what the heck that means, 
So let's move on. Okay, here we have Electric Mindstorm or I don't know what that says. It's not Mindstorm, I guess. Wait. Except some my cards fell down. Um it says lay down card. Opponent loses if spinner touches it, then remove. I like those cards. And there is Assassin, or whatever that is. Add 400 S... 4... Add SP 400 to any two of your powers until player wins. Immediate play another card. I don't know what the heck that means either. And the last card. Panic Situations. It says, keep, keep up, keep face up, discard his crown is removed, opponent cannot use face up cards. Don't know what that means either. I don't normally play the Ninjago. I normally just kind of like the sets, and I get the sets, and I enjoy them. And also you get the two one by 2 bricks plus a 2x2 two two plate to stand up your cards and just stick your cards on there well let's go ahead and test this out with a booster pack you could go ahead and test it out with the the one that looks the best I think the one that looks the best to me is Well, you probably know what I'm doing right now, and to put it on the stuff, I just had it to the side right now. Don't have the thing that makes it taller. I don't know why I didn't pick that up. Okay. Anyways, it it looks best with the Lizu or something booster pack. Let's go ahead and spin him. Let me go ahead and spin him. There. Like. Like, now you could spin them, like, oops. now you could spin them, like so, and you could get another spinner and have them battle, the battle between good and evil, pretty cool, he's about to come off my base plate, okay, well, that was just the spinner with the Rizu booster pack or something. And you could simply take all this stuff off whenever you won or the other player won. Yeah. Uh, get these little holes things out. Just gotta get a finger hold there. Aha! Okay, it's pretty cool. As I said, the best booster pack to use is the Lizu booster pack. So, this is a pretty cool set. It was about $10, like most other spinners. I don't know why they priced it at $10. Maybe, I think they should have priced it a little lower. I mean, how much money could the spinner cost? Seriously, what if you just got the spinner? Not the minifigure, not the weapons, not the cards, just the spinner. Okay, well, that was just another review. I think it's my third review. So, thank you for watching.